Hey everybody, I'm going to work through the solution for the primes problem. So the overview is, uh, I want you to say what we're doing, ask them for a starting number, ask them for an ending number, and then we want to check all the numbers from that starting up to and including the ending one, and report uh, any number that's prime and keep track of how many there are. So uh, you go into REPL and do a new REPL and, uh, and we get going. So I'm going to print uh, we're going to find prime numbers. All right, and we're going to do start equals int input. Enter the starting number. So remember, you have to put an int here. Oop, not input, input. Int and then input. Enter a starting number. The int part turns whatever they enter into an actual number. And then we're going to say ending. Uh, I'll just say end. Uh, see, that's a, sort of a Python word. I'm going to say finish equals int input. Enter the last number. All right. And then uh, we're going to make a variable called count set it equal to zero. And then we're going to do uh, a for loop. For, I'm going to make my number called num. In range, I'm going to do start, comma, finish, plus one. You have to do the plus one on finish because the range call always goes to one number less than the second number. All right, and in here, num is going to be the number we're checking to see if it's prime. And so uh, right here, we want to say, uh, make a new variable called factors and say it's gotten, it's zero. We haven't found any factors yet. And now we say for x in range one comma num plus one. So what that is, is we're going to this x variable is going to start out at 1, and then it'll be 2, and then 3, all the way up to the number we're checking. And then right in here, we're going to say if uh, num modulo x equals 0. That means if you divide num, the, the current number we're checking, by x, and there's no remainder. Oh, I'm sorry, the parentheses are not necessary. Um, if we divide num by x and there's no remainder, that means we found a factor, one of the factors of x. It means uh, one of the factors of num. So like if num was the number 5, it's evenly divisible by 1 and also 5, but not by 2, 3, and 4. OK, so right here, if it is evenly divisible, we say factors equals factors plus 1. OK, so I hit Enter, and then I'm going to backspace uh, right here. So we're still in the first for loop, but we're out of the inner for loop. And right here, we're going to check if, if factors is equal to 2. That means we found a prime number. So then we print num, and we also say count equals count plus 1. And the reason that's right here is, see, this num for loop, this one is doing all the numbers we're going to check to see if they're prime. And this one does all the checking. This, this for loop does all the checking. And it counts all the factors it found. So for like the number 12, it would find 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. That's a lot of factors. But down here, uh, we're just checking, hey, if the number of factors is exactly 2, that means it's a prime number because uh, a prime number is divisible by 1 and itself. All right, so then if that's the case, we print it, and then we add 1 to the count. And then down here at the very end, I wanted you to say count prime numbers found between start and finish. So this is just like a little report line. And this is not inside any other for loop. So let's run it and see if it works. First, we'll do a small set, 3 and 11. 
And this is just like the example in my PDF. 3, 5, 7, 11 are the four prime numbers found between 3 and 11. Let's go find, that was this example, and let's go find uh, another one. one. Four ones and then 1193. So let's, let's try that one. Um, one, two, three, four, and 1193. And it says 10 prime numbers found between 1111 and 1193. And that's, I think, what my program said before. Yep. Anyway, that's it. That's all you needed. So uh, hopefully that helps. If you had questions, remember you say share, click down here. You can right click and then say copy. And then that gives you a link that you can turn in on the Google Classroom. So uh, good luck.